trying to make an electric bike part one. So I have these old wheels and motors that came off a kid's ride on toy. Now I say to myself, why not put them to use? Now these, the motors may be small, but they're geared for torque. Now they have potential. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the motor to a sprocket, but I can't just mount it like that. I have to take a piece of the wheel because the wheel and the motor, they join together. So I need a piece. So I'm going to cut a piece off the wheel itself and then i'm going to epoxy the sprocket to it then i'm going to join the motor and the sprockets together and then i'm going to put a rod through it then i'm going to glue the rod in place and then cut the ends off then what i'm going to do is i'm going to mount the gearbox to a piece of plank now the plank is going to help me mount it to the bike itself then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill holes on the plank so I can apply zip ties and then I'm going to zip tie the whole plank on the frame of the bike. Now, I uh, because the bike actually has like it can change gears, this gives me a good opportunity because even though I chose the biggest sprocket because I didn't want to put too much a big load on that tiny little motor and, and the gearbox. So I chose the biggest sprocket I could find. But the motor is also going to be mounted on the biggest sprocket in the front. But because the bike is a gear changer bike, it will allow me to change gears, which is great because i can start on like the lowest gear or the highest gear and i don't i can put it in such a gear that it won't really put a big load on the motor itself but it won't limit me to that speed so if it was a fixed gear ratio i could be i could mount it and i could test it but i'll be limited to that speed now because i have a gear ratio i can gear changer I can just change gears just like that. So as you can see right now, I have mounted it to the frame and now I'm just adjusting the chain. Now this is a very hard process because chains are very fussy. You put it in one wrong position, the chain is jumping or it can do this tighty loosey thing, which is even the, which is even worse. It's like it's a huge problem solving thing. Ah, uh, it's like ish. Even something from a factory, like I have something that has a chain and it comes from a factory, but adjusting the chain, wow, it can be a problem. Like it's a big process. But as you can see right now, I'm just using the pedals to see that it's aligned properly. And as you can see, the chain jumped. So I, I need to do further improvements just to make sure that the chain just stays on and it just doesn't jump off. Did you know my biggest motivation actually comes from you guys? Like when I see someone react to the video, whether it's one like or one comment, it doesn't matter the amount, but the fact that you made the effort just says to me that I need to put more effort. I don't want to lose your trust. So it's just, it's that type of relationship, but please consider liking or subscribing. I hope to see you in another video. Bye.